Some generators are equipped with a battery powered electronic starter. To ensure the starter has power when needed, make sure the power cord is attached and plugged into the wall outlet when the generator is not in use. If the electronic starter battery is dead and or the generator is not equipped with an electronic starter, start the generator manually using the pull start. The power bar indicator will display the amount of power the generator is outsourcing. The send deck indicator displays how many hours the generator has been turned on. You may reset the indicator by pressing the gray button. The generator is equipped with two double outlets. Other items that require power can be plugged here. If at any point the circuit breaker pops, you may reset it by pushing it back in. Make sure you correct the overloading of the circuit before doing this. The generator is equipped with a 120-240 vac outlet. This is the outlet we will be using to power the residence. In order to connect the power cord to this outlet, the prongs of the power cord need to align to the shape of the outlet. Pull out the choke when starting the generator for the first time. Give it 5 to 10 seconds after the generator has started, then push the choke back in. Once the generator has been running for a while, it might not require the choke to restart it. Turn the knob to enable the flow of fuel through the fuel line before starting the generator. Note: Make sure the line is shut off whenever the generator is off. If the generator has an electronic starter, then push and hold the start button. If turning on the generator manually, make sure the switch is in the middle in the on position. To shut off the generator, push and hold the button in the off position. To check or replenish the oil, unscrew the orange oil cap. The oil is in the correct level if it reaches the border of the rim, almost as if it will come out of the container. If you do not see the oil reach the border, then add oil to the generator using a funnel and 10W30 oil. Screw the oil cap back in place, making sure it is tight. Fuel gauge indicator will show how much fuel is left in the generator. Turn the fuel cap left to unscrew and refuel the generator. Do not remove the fuel filter attached to the cap. Refuel as needed and put the fuel cap back by turning it right. Gather all your tools. Check oil level and replenish if needed. Check fuel level and fill up as needed. Open the fuel line. Pull the choke button.
If turning on the generator manually, pull the cord fast and repeat as needed to start the generator. Push the choke button in once the generator has been running for a few seconds, 5 to 10 seconds. Plug the power cord to the generator making sure the prongs line up with the outlet. Plug the other end of the power cord to the house inlet making sure the prongs line up. Find the transfer switchboard. This will be separate from your electric panel. When the house is using the power grid, all transfer switch will be set to line. To transfer the power to the generator, set each switch to the off position. When finished, set each switch to gen. The house will now be powered through the generator. Caution. Do not refuel or replenish the oil while the generator is running. Shut it off when performing these two tasks. Only use 10W30 oil and regular unleaded fuel. Go to the transfer switchboard and turn each switch from gen to the off position. Then turn each switch to the line position. Once every switch has been set to line position, the house is back to the power grid and is no longer powered by the generator. Turn off the generator by pressing and holding the off switch. Shut off the fuel line. Remove the power cord from the wall and the generator. Wait until the generator has cooled off before covering it or storing it.